Well, guys, I've lost my faith in humanity here. After all that, be surprised if anyone comes back. So, shit happens. Internet drops. I'm not gonna let it get me down. I'm still drawing. Maybe you'll come back, that's fine. I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna uh, even keep this on the live stream channel. I might just drop it all off. So we'll just darken this area all the shadow under Sarah's neck I can add more material to make it darker later but I just gotta get oh that line wanted to draw itself what's nice is this is acting as a crutch or a bridge right crutch holds you up Bridge goes over areas you don't want to touch. This whole arm bit went from her eye deltoid, tricep, so I'm just like pulling it down, like, right, there's like a fat fold there, then her elbow, and I, and I do draw the elbow often with the, the tip for that sharper line. It's a hard, hard line, hard surface. Conceptually, it makes sense. Bum, bum, bum. Let's move it up. Let's clean that up a little bit. Also, rub my finger along the edge because um, I want to soften it a little bit. It's further away and our eyes blur ever so slightly. But then I've got like soft, curved, straight, soft, curved, and then hard, pointy edges, you know? That's, that's interesting. It, it just adds visual interest to have different uh, treatment of the line. Now let's curve and uh, just extend out the shadow. Who, who cares, right? If it's not quite uh, ending here where it needs to, right? We just blend it out. So it kind of creates a little bit of a lost edge there. And We've got it. Maybe we're making our arms a little bit thin here, but. Yeah, they are. That's the shape we're after. Do the negative space all dark here. All dark. It's made up of cast shadow and a shadow along the arm, shadow under the hand. Right? 
that's not quite long enough. All right, well, someone figured out to join back. All the internet went out here. It is what it is. I'm gonna keep drawing. I'd like to finish this up. Three different sections. Maybe this live stream is running away from someone. So I'm gonna see if I can bring this camera down a little bit and tilt it up. I might need uh, might need to loosen off the magic arm here. That has to be done with a hex key. I tightened it quite a bit because I didn't want the camera to hit me in the head. That looks a little bit better. Oh, it's really loose now. All right, let's try this once more. Seems like we're still going. This is the tool that saves the day, keeps me from hitting the camera with my head much better. Still, it's tilted, but I think you get the effect. All right, so I gotta look for a new tool here. Is that one I was using? Oh, here we go. So this little tiny pencil, this is gonna need a pencil holder. See if I can get it in here. Oh yeah. I had these Derwent <laughs> holders. Ugh. Let's see, there we go. Um, two sizes, one holds just the regular pencil size. Actually, these have two on either side too, these holders. You need these holders sometimes. So this isn't even sharp, but I don't care. With all that's been happening to this live stream, I just want to finish my drawing. So down here, when I squint my eyes, I can treat this as a little bit of a lost edge. And I should, because like I said, we need to add interest to our drawings. And we can do that through line quality, not just value. Right, that's our fourth, sorry, third thing is the edges. So I wanna lose an edge here, lose an edge here if I can. Kinda of allows your eye to drop off the object and your mind to fill in what's going on there. Okay, let's get this, we got this arm in. It's not the same angle even. Now I'm looking at it, um, but we'll just drop the leg. So we still have this level of space. Let's get this back leg in here. And um, if, I, if I draw down this line of her arm, it allows me to hit, you see, where that knee goes. So I like to use these like long ideas and these long lines to sometimes find, I call it triangulation, but to find my areas where I am. So here, if I go straight across the ankle and uh, basically where the, where the sit bone is, the bottom of the pelvis, that kind of gives me that straight area, although it dips down slightly, right? Uh, straight across here. And then if I go straight to here, right? A vertical line, which we're good at drawing at, and a horizontal line, I actually get where that fold is and where I'm supposed to kind of bend the knee up. So you gotta train yourself to figure out these ways uh, of looking, of finding where you are. Um, if I uh, run across the ankle, I can see it's um, the back of the olecranon the olecranon or the heel. If I run across, I see that that's where it's turning up. So that's where I have it turning up, right? Puzzle pieces. I guess, you know, until you have your own method, there's, there's no right way of doing it for sure, but you need to, sometimes it's like, oh, I didn't know I was allowed to see that way or that anyone is doing that. I mean, I come by it honestly. It's not like, 
Um, like, I wasn't really taught these things, per se. I think, uh, you know, we're on the shoulders of giants from books and our learnings. But a lot of times, you learn by doing, which is also why I say it's a great thing to do lots of master copies. Because you see uh, methods and relationships uh, you might not otherwise see that fit you better than maybe the way you're learning. Like maybe the way that I've come about this, like I'm like, oh, it's just like this. This is how I would do it. But you got to remember how many uh, years and iterations it took me to get there. Like that's not the rule that I learned and then it's just there. It's something that I've come up with over time a lot of the time. I'm going to darken this side of the calf as well. That way I can give this illusion of a little bit of light reflecting up on it. Up on the calf. So I don't quite want it as dark as the shadow, obviously. Maybe that's not obvious. But I do want some tone on there. Optical opportunities. And I want to keep saying sorry for technical difficulties, but they're out of my control, so. I mean, I'm still sorry your experience wasn't great. I'm still drawing. And I'll post this, so. I guess the lesson is trust one's intuition, but, uh, which I do a lot. But I will start recording these separate and not relying on YouTube for the upload because things happen. And as soon as you're ready for anything, anything doesn't happen anymore. That's like, as soon as I got AMA for my car, which was years ago, I no longer needed it. <laughs> but I still have it as a backup plan because to me it's worth the risk. Like It's like a lottery ticket. Because I've had uh, the need to get towed and then had to pay uh, an exorbitant amount of money for a tow. But if you've got um, AMA, you get moved up the list and it's included in your price. So like any insurance, you have it so you don't have to use it, hopefully. But with how cold it is right now, I would way rather call my roommate Ray. <laughs> He'll come immediately and save the day then wait on, uh, like if he wasn't in town, then I use the AMA, you know? They're good at charging up your batteries and locked keys and towing. But also you don't want to wait when it's minus 25 out or something. All right, that's looking all right. So let's get this uh, other part of this leg and so where it's curving and I mean really halfway through the this measure from the elbow down. That's not to say that that's a rule. It's just an observational halfway. I love halfways because it's like that's half, that's half, right? Do you? I'm dropping it down actually because I realized my halves weren't good. What about this? Is that half of that? Yes, it is. You know, halves are easy. We're good at eyeballing halves. We, it's natural to humans. We don't even have to train it. And you can bring your fingers together at the same time, even if not. You know, one hand's probably a little bit faster always. Your dominant hand is, I think, faster. But you can compensate for that. All right? Oh, yeah. So uh, I did want to soften and add tone to the whole back leg to make it appear further away, right? Just a little bit of an illusion trick for sure. I use a slight uh, softening here, hardening, softening, um, and then let's increase the shadow, which is rounded. So we're pushing the shadows darker, and I'm sure I could do this in Photoshop or something to show you guys, but train your eyes. That's the point of this stuff. 
right? And then some of these uh, training that you're doing become part of your style or your aesthetic. My whole style and aesthetic before was just, this is how I draw. And it was really kind of lost and it didn't have sense or purpose. A lot of ambiguity you see in um, art as it's starting out, right? You're feeling it around, but you want to start to develop those things and have reason behind them. Not just do them because you lack uh, other abilities. You know, it's a skill and then anyone can have a skill. This is a skill anyone can learn. And I've also seen artists that I thought, oh God, th these guys are never gonna be good. And they got good simply by wanting it and persistence. That's the name of the game. Obviously, it's great to have great teachers. You will get better much quicker. But we also can't all afford to do that. Uh, some of us can put in the time, though. We can go to the library. We can practice. Uh, some of us are wise and put their money into weekly figure drawing here. The Atelier Artista. Four-year plug. Four-year plug. I hope the other guys who were here earlier find their way back. Uh, we got an hour left, so I'm going to finish this drawing as best as I can. Still darken this back leg. Enough. And then soften it, right? That's another thing that I don't do a lot in uh, these kind of drawings is I don't do like the finish. I just want to get everything where I want it. You know, I could lighten that a little bit. Lighten this a little bit. Uh, draw this little dimple a little bit this little leg dimple this little it's redder here you know scribbly it's okay it actually really works well to have like we're not lying to say this is a smoothed out photo maybe I will complain uh, in the new newsletter about this stream or I'll just get over it I'll just get over it we've had so many of these and they've been great I'm glad I wasn't trying to do like some big theory thing though or like you know something more teacherly because I didn't even notice it shut off all these times I'm looking at what I'm doing. Maybe I need like a little screen here. Get like a little tablet that you guys can also see with the delay. The delay here is nice. It's kind of interesting. Um, one of the other guys in the studio here is he's using Twitch. So he, I think he offered to show me um, how to set up a Twitch stream. I think it's mostly for gamers. I'm not obviously not a gamer. I'm not even a Netflix watcher. I'm a reader though. So if you have any book recommendations, I love reading. I wish I had more time for it. I just remember growing up, my mom read a lot. And so there was always full bookshelves. Uh, my other, my stepmom, she's an English teacher. So lots of books there. And I'm reading a book that I started 20 years ago and read. And I know because I had first met my uh, best friend Ben in art school and we had lived together. And inside the book is his signature. It had been his book and then he gave it to me to read because he liked it so much. And inside it, oh my God, I got it right here. Check, this thing is ridiculous. Look how old it is. I had to completely retape the pages in the cover because it was falling apart. In fact, the thing I'm talking about, you can't really see. But it said, whoever owned it before him, he signed it, he gave it to me, and then, oh my God, I'll just rip it. It's had its own life. And then there's a little bunny. Now, this bunny, let me see if I can set focus here. This, 
this I used to sign things with bunnies before I even had this nickname. And this is like an early uh my early paintings and stuff. What the hell? Focus. Uh oh yeah, what if I hit the button? I'm sorry, this is not technologically working for me. Wait, is this even focused? Let's see. Well, that looks focused. It's on manual now, guys. All right. What a SHIP show. Where's the button? There we go. I have to hit the button. Anyways, uh, 20 years old. And there's like how I used to like sign my name and stuff. There's no bunny there, you see? The bunny's there. And this is way before I even got the nickname. Interesting tidbit. Um, I'm loving this Anne Rand book. A lot of people complain about Anne Rand and her objectivists, whatever. But this one's about uh, Howard Rourke, the integrity architect. And I actually, I thought if I didn't go into art, I would be an architect. I still can be. I mean, I'm young enough. But the thing about painting is I can make a thousand this year, you know? Maybe they wouldn't be great, but um, but buildings in my lifetime, be lucky to make three or four, right? The input cost is so much higher. So I think for me, art's the right choice. I wouldn't be terrible at building buildings. I probably design my own house as well. I like the earth ships. That is the life goal. I would definitely, I'm in the city now, but I would definitely move more rural if I had kids. It's not quite too late for me yet. I would like to. So, uh, any Valentines out there? We're not going to jump into that too quick though. I would not have time with this studio. So if I miss that chance, it's okay. The world we live in is questionable as it is. I can be a father to all my students. Or an uncle. <laughs> Whatever it ends up being. Whatever it ends up I'm gonna darken this back but even more. Send it back further. Right, uh, darks, recede, cool and warm. Warm comes forward, cool advance. Look, she's pink and warm. She looks like she's coming more forward. Um, so we can use how color works with our value as well, our, our black and white idea. So I'm just gonna intensify some things here in the face. Cause I'm just kind of dancing around what I'm doing. Maybe I'll lighten up her chin a little bit. I've got too, too much uh, lip there. We're gonna also darken this back arm a little bit more. And you gotta remember too, like this is, um, human flesh and it looks white-ish because it's on dark. Uh, but we're not on dark, so uh, there needs to be some value on the skin. Unless you're really making a cartoon of it. So we'll just pull the arm up. This is kind of a lost edge. There's lots of lost edge on the hand too. We just do the shadow shapes. In fact, we can't see the connection here. Of, we can't see right here. Just trash the drawing or the reference. Wait, I don't want the reference. I want the drawing. I didn't take this photo, but it's a beautiful composition. And uh, I'm going to send a shout out to this photographer. I think his name is on the bottom. So give credit where credit's due. It's nice to 
have some reference because we can't have models in the studio yet. Soon enough, guys. A lot of people have been talking to me about how they've kind of had enough of this, but the truth is, is you're gonna have to endure, endure more, you know? I'm already a hermit, so I think people think that I'm an extrovert. There's a different person that you see and you think you know, even this talking right now is not the one that those who know me best are close to. In fact, a lot of them find my persona quite hilarious because I'm uh, very private, usually. I would rather just sit and read a book. Like, I'm not a partier. I tried. I partied. I know how to have fun. This is fun to me, though. Actually, this might be more fun than all the other kinds of fun you can have. It's the talking that makes it weird because I actually don't have a dialogue going in my head most of the time. I'm not sure how that is for everyone else. I know from my roomie and stuff that a lot of people um, just don't shut up. Like, they're, the wheels are always turning in their heads. I mean, mine are turning with ideas. I think that's kind of one of the plights of being an artist. But it's not words, for sure not words. My dreams are really quite visual, and I remember them all. So, I don't creep a, a dream journal because even though I remember them all, they're kind of inconsequential a lot of the time. Um, you know, it's not prophetic dreams here that I'm having. It's usually like, oh yeah, I was talking about boats yesterday. Oh yeah, boats came up. Oh, I dreamt about boats today, you know? <laughs> It's like, um, I feel like the brain is solving problems when you're sleeping and, you know, trying to find solutions to whatever was presented with, within one or two days. I mean, it's nice to think that they're prophetic, like, oh my God, I dreamt this and now I'll go buy a lottery ticket. Um, and those, those might occur. I just think that they're probably a lot more rare than the norm. I don't, I'm not having those kind of dreams, I don't think. A lot of times I dream about what I'm gonna do at work. So they, that's when they're not really fun. Let's just lighten this a little bit up there. Just right there. Sometimes you can make something look lighter by putting something darker beside it, like this. So that's okay. Dare I uh, tackle this thumb and finger? We're at 816. Um, I lost most of my viewers, thanks to technology. But I'm still here, and you guys can fin see the finished piece. I don't know if this will get archived, if anyone will ever see what I'm doing right now. But that's OK. We learn, or I'm learning that I'm going to have to make recordings every time, which means I'll probably have to buy another hard drive. That's okay though. I wonder if anyone's out there at Jennifer's show. It, it actually sounds kind of busy here right now. Like there's people out there. Guess she come see her show. I think she's had um, a solo show before at Eddie Nikesh's gallery, New Edward Gallery, which I'm learning through the grapevine uh, I guess the person who owned the building is selling the building, so he's going to have to find a new gallery home. Maybe someone out there knows a place. Tell Eddie. He's got quite the collection as well, that guy. Let's put this little triangle down here. It's like a little shape pop. Now, this whole back of the hand is in shadow, so let's make sure we make it dark. Her hand's looking a little bit big in my drawing, I think. But that's the way the cookie crumbles on this one. 
So we'll just shade this side of the hand. And that way it doesn't look so much like a claw. Rounds it out right here. And there's tendons there as well. I also like to put value on the knuckles. The knuckles tend to be a lot redder. Like even if you look at my hands, you can see where they are. It's a little hard to see in this drawing reference because she's so pale. And it's probably been edited down quite a bit so that it's not as pronounced. I think that she's been doing knuckle push-ups. And then that way, you can kind of show where these tendons go. Maybe I'll even erase out a little bit here. And uh, draw a harder line to widen the finger. Just a little bit darker. But I just want to indicate kind of where the fingers go. I don't want to uh, draw them entirely. Now, this side of her shoulder is starting to go into tone. This is all more tonal back here. So I'm going to actually throw it right on top of the hand, right on top of the back, and soften it, of course. There should be some straight down the arm, but not as dark. Soften it. And then I'm going to go through now and just darken some areas. We're so close to being done. We're going to be done early tonight because I feel like giving up. <laughs> but also I'm not trying to get full render here. This should all be blurry. Um, it softens along the back. Put some draw lines. It's soft though, it's soft down here. So I'll just add some darkness. I need to intensify it because sometimes when it gets rubbed, a lot of material is missing after that. Right. Let's bring this arm out more forward by drawing that line, popping it forward a little bit more. If that's the only way we can create depth, then we need to accentuate it so that we have the illusion of more space on this paper. Otherwise, it's going to look boring and flat. And we don't want that. We're creating an illusion here. I don't know if it's just the paper being folded, but I see some dark here a striation in her forearm muscle. I may have done it a little dark, but as soon as I take my thumb across it, it softens it. Yes, this isn't quite the party I thought it was going to be. I was hoping to this year to celebrate um, the students that were graduating. However, that party will also not be this year, unfortunately. We will have to postpone one more year, I think. And we'll see what the world is like at that time if ever it returns to normal or whatever that means anymore. All this is kind of soft, but darkened it, now it looks silly. 
gonna erase down this a little bit. I got I went a little too extreme there. Your eye also goes towards the, the high contrast areas, right? Which I'm creating right there. It's not that light and dark. So I'll just beat it down a little bit. So I can't even share this video now because it's so chopped up. So we'll just have to do another one. Maybe, I, uh, maybe I'll do that tan tone one. I have, I'm gonna paint this mural in here Friday night, I think. And then on Saturday, I'm gonna work on my car a lot. Get it in nice driving order. Now that I've done a little work, my roommate's going to let me use his garage. Which is pretty nice of him. It's heated. Going to do the brakes. Going to do all my uh, fluids up again. And also, you know, I bought an air filter that I can just blow out, kind of like reusable, so I don't have to keep buying air filters. I feel like that's a big waste. When you can spend more on one air filter that you can suck out all the dust and stuff. Calgary is a dusty city too. So you actually be surprised what comes out of that filter. Um, also, I've been beside Sea Space, which has a lot of had a lot of construction. The other thing that I keep getting this flat tire because of the construction. I'm pretty sure uh, I'll be able to fix it. I'm pretty sure there's just a nail hole in it, you know, because driving around here there's a lot of finishing nails and stuff for a while, and I think it was just stuck in my tire, and then. Uh, it, it finally because of the cold it came out and so that's why I'm getting that flat tire all the time But come on people. I've had two people little spoiled people Telling me why don't you just get a new car? <sighs> what are you talking about? It's like the last time when my car got broken into it was like a $60 fix. Why would I buy an entire new car? My dad gave me this car. He promised it to me uh, when I graduated and uh, haven't really got anything or, or really know my dad very well, my biological dad. So uh, he gave me this car and I had to get rid of my other awesome car to take the gift. He forced it on me. So now I am keeping it. Uh, I'm coming up on two 100,000, 222 or whatever uh, miles on it. It's almost 222222. So, uh, you know, it's a Honda. So I think I'm about halfway through its life only. So I'm going to have to get a lot more uh, driving in. Fortunately, I drive uh, 8 to 12 minutes each way to work. It's a very short commute. My ideal would be to not drive at all. Uh, in the summer, I was riding my bike a lot. And I would love to live even closer because I'm just here all the time. And that extra time would make a big difference to me. But until my Tesla shows up, I'm running petrol. But I don't spend that much on gas at all. I think to fill it up every three weeks, two to three weeks, depends if I'm doing a lot of other stuff. I probably since the New Year's New Year only filled it twice and I only ever put 40 bucks in and I go to Centex on Sunday when it's three cents less than everywhere else these are the artist ways these are the thrifty Virgo Portuguese single guy ways that I would like to pass on to you Really, if no one's going to watch this, I could really say what I want to say. <laughs> I'm not such a bad guy. Come on. But to talk all the time.
Like it sounds like I have an opinion, but most things are pretty cool. Just keep working hard. I believe in hard work. That's one thing. I'm not trying to get rich here. I'm trying to get better. That is a different kind of rich and it's hard. It's hard to have the motivation. Some of the tenants, uh, we have like a tenant messaging board and stuff like, one of them came and talked to me about, you know, it's tough. People are having a tough time. Uh, but even with the time, like, it's hard to still be motivated. I mean, I'm trying to be here for you with this and I'm sorry that it crashed out. I said, I wasn't gonna say I was sorry, but I truly am. Um, SHIT happens, right? Maybe I'll just take this down a little bit, smudge it down. I love that effect of softness. Let me take, uh, it's 8.30. Let me take a few minutes just to stare at this from a distance. I could take it to more finish. Um, because there is a little bit of time. I could also just go home. I gotta be up at 5 a.m. I'm not sure. Just give me a minute to uh, sit back and think about this. I know there's no one out there. I'm talking to myself. I'm actually learning to talk to myself because of this bloody live stream. That can't be good, hey? Maybe I'll just sign it. and call it a night. What is it? February 10, 21. I think I'm okay with that. Even with these like little lines. I don't wanna make it into a chore. And I kinda wanna go home and relax a little bit now. So without a critique or whatever, you can see it here. This leg's looking a little bright, but um, what was I drawing with? Yeah, let's tone it back a little bit. Just like that. Just like that. I think it's good enough. It's just a newsprint drawing, right? I'll sit back for a minute. Have a look at it. I'll even pull the camera back. And tilt it and zoom it and do all the... Ooh, all that stuff. Let's just look at it for a minute. Do we hate it? Do we love it? I didn't even drink this. Maybe I'll bring it home and cheers right. Oh, that hand is a little goofy, isn't it? It's like a little, um, can't really see it on here, but there's a little tone on the knuckle. This one can be darker. Even the roundness of the fingernails. Like they're lighter, but they're not that light. I don't know. I like it. 
feel like that's good. Uh, here, I'll just crouch down behind here today and be a cute little bunny. Hey, ho, is that good? Okay. Hey guys, if you came back, uh, it looks to me like there's only one to three people on here and I appreciate you guys for coming on. I also really appreciate everyone who comes out at the night who believed in this crazy dream that is my studio. We have been closed for almost a year, but there was a little part that I got to have you guys in here. I can't wait to have you back. We are surviving, we're gonna be fine. I'm a Virgo, I've got savings. I'm not losing my dream anytime soon. Um, I also have lots of great commission work and uh, it's keeping me alive and going and my rent paid and uh, my food in my mouth and the lights are on. So. To me, that's fantastic. I think back to when I was a student or when I was starting out in art and I had nothing. <laughs> you know, now I have $20 boots from Canadian Tire, which are keeping my feet nice and warm and toasty. Uh, I want you to feel inspired. I want you to come back. I want you to keep communicating. And I definitely want you to sign up to, at the website because uh, this Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, I'm launching the new Clean Slate. Uh, newsletter so what i had before was because i was so busy i didn't have time for a newsletter i'd be like hey these are the classes guys and you know you can choose to read these things or not uh but now i have a little format there's a sheet over there there's going to be stories and videos and history and techniques and lessons and what's coming up all sorts of good stuff uh bi-monthly so you're going to get the newsletter more now but like i said you don't have to read it but i'm hoping to bring added value maybe we'll learn more about the other teachers as they come back and it won't just be a listing of what we have on here that'll be way down you're gonna have to scroll down to see that stuff but um i'm gonna bring back my youtube channel too so that's my personal one mr brian batista it's been off for a while but after celebrating the four years of being here and seeing the fact that I had filmed everything in the beginning from the studio and just being able to look back and see myself younger and see the changes and the things made, it really is a nice track record. And uh, I would like to maintain that. And I have a new series that's hiding right there that I'm working on and I've been time-lapsing it uh, because I want to be able to share more and present more and uh, hopefully get more viewers. So if you like this channel, uh, and you feel like commenting or hitting that thumbs up or subscribing and you gotta hit that notification bell because that helps the YouTube algorithm uh, help me grow what we have going on here. Um, and uh, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna put this up on social media probably and hopefully Sarah Bella will enjoy the drawing that I did with her. Tomorrow we have yoga at 7 a.m. till 8.30. And then I teach at nine. It's going to be a tight one tomorrow. So I actually might do it here at the studio. I just want to say have a fantastic night and uh, a wonderful holiday of love. Happy Valentine's. Ciao for now. <laughs>